Have you heard about Hooverball? It's one of the first extreme sports that started back in the 1930s to give President Hoover a thorough workout in a short amount of time. He played every day on the White House lawn. He actually lost weight during his four-year term. I'm Tori. And I'm Becca. And we're here to show you how to play Hooverball. And how fun it is. Teams consist of three to five players with three on the court at a time. Uh, object is simple. Toss a four pound medicine ball back and forth over an eight foot net on a typical volleyball court. If your team drops it or throws it out of bounds, you lose the point. Sounds simple, right? Well, we throw it hard, really hard, and the pace is fast. Each side of the court is divided in half, a front and a back. All lines are considered in. When men play, front-to-front -front court plays are not allowed. This helps prevent spiking, which is never allowed. The men serve from the back line. Women serve from the mid court. Women may also pass the ball once, but then must return it to the back court. If a receiving team catches the ball out of bounds, it's still in play. The player should return to the nearest boundary and continue playing the point. You should have let it hit the ground and taken the easy point. If you touch the ball and it drops out of bounds, you lose the point also. If you make a diving catch for the ball, we hope your buddies got it on video. Just get up, plant your feet, and put the ball back in play as quickly as you can. We like to keep the pace fast. We score the game just like tennis, with the same team serving the entire game. Each serve is rotated and players may sub in between points. If players disagree on a play call, such as in or out, the point will be played over. There are no line judges, so fair play and honest line calling is the rule of the day. So how do you qualify to play for the national championship title? Just sign up. We're here to compete and have fun. You'll spend the first five hours playing multiple games to receive a ranking. If you rank in the top 16, you move on to the final bracket round. The top three teams receive Iowa game medals. The champions share a cash prize and are placed on the historic Hoover Ball National Championship Trophy. It's on display in the Hoover National Historic Site Visitor Center. Do you have what it takes to become the next Hoover Ball National Champion? Get in the game. It's the first weekend in August during Hoover's Hometown Days in West Branch. Learn all about it at hoover-ball.org.